Hello YouTube! I have an updated Imperial Ultramon deck profile for the BT10 meta and even the EX3 meta. Uh, this deck was unaffected by the ban list and the restricted list. Uh, but I'd argue that the ban and restricted list actually makes Imperial Ultramon a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about the cards in the Imperial deck that I'm playing. It's kind of a different stretch on the Imperial deck. It does a lot of the similar things you're used to seeing in Blue Green Imperial, but taking some inspirations for other things as well that have worked for me in the past. So we're going to go ahead and do the deck profile. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video, subscribe, turn the notification on the Smash Potatoes. That way you know when all these video videos go live. All right. Uh, this is my placeholder for the eggs. There are four Demi Vs and nothing else. I lent out my Demi V ones. Um, so there's one here. There should be four, just so you guys know. It's the when you tackle jamming, draw a card, egg. That's what it does. Everyone knows what the card does. It's really good. So I'll put that to the side. And we'll go on to rookies. For rookies, for the rookies, we are starting off with four copies of Vimon from the Imperial Starter deck. If I want to play it on the table there. Oh, that's bad blur. Bad, bad blur. That's, that's better. Uh, Vimon. On play, real top three out of three. You're adding free cards. All the time, there are a lot of free cards in your deck. So this usually always resolves. We play four copies of it. We play four copies of the EX1 Vimon. Uh, inheritable once per turn when you want to suspend game memory. Card's pretty good. Uh, let's see you do some crazy combos in this deck. Choke your opponent, gain memory. That's always fun. We are playing two copies of Labramon. I am trying Labramon. Um, it's the, uh, if this attacks, draws a jamming gain of memory. I'm trying it. One of the biggest reasons, uh, for not playing this card, in my opinion, was because you were playing Lydramon. And Lydramon couldn't actually evolve on Labramon, or any other blue rookie for that matter. Uh, but now, spoiler alert, we're not actually playing Lydramon in the deck. So, playing two copies of, uh, Labramon is okay. You will gain memory. And that's cool. Sometimes you'll gain memory twice a turn because you'll DNA with it. So it's kind of okay. We're playing two copies of Madoki Betamon. Um, it's just the floodgate. Your opponent can gain effects by memory. That's what this card does. Everyone knows what this card does. We are playing one copy of Jamming Vmon just for the jamming. You know, attack, swing, and demi-v draw card. Jamming's pretty cool. And we're playing one copy of the BT8 Vmon. Reveal top four, add a multicolored card to your hand. We are playing multiple multicolored cards in the deck. Sometimes this whiffs, but usually not. I think it's with like twice ever in this deck's testing. Champions, we're playing four copies, obviously, of X Vmon. It has jamming and gives you inheritable jamming. It's very good. We're playing four copies of Stingmon. Uh, it costs three to play it if you have a blue digit one on the field. And when attacking, draw a card. Not once per turn. You draw a card a lot. Also costs two to evolve. Sometimes you do do that. For some of the spice, I remember when BT8 Imperial came out, a lot of people were testing this card I'm going to show you right now. And people were like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. And in BT8, I agree, it was kind of weird. In this current format, though, this could be the way. Uh, we're going to play three copies of Magnamon. It is evolve, evolve on your Vmon for three. It's a blocker that unsuspends. Uh, it can get, gain DP when you evolve, but it also says Armor Purge. Armor Purge could come up. And Magnamon being a yellow will also come up later. And Magnamon also being a Magnamon will come up later. I promise. For our last champion of the deck, we're just playing one Kumamon. For the hybrid for game factor, still comes up. Kumamon's pretty broken. That's it for the champions. We're going to move on to the ultimates now. Ultimates. Four copies of Pyildramon. The best... Some people just call this deck Pyildramon Turbo. Because let's just be real here. Uh, sometimes you don't even need Imperial to win. Uh, Pyildramon here, when you DNA Digivolve, it will bounce a lot. 6,000 DP or less card. And it can swing twice. That sounds pretty good to me. Uh, now for the Spice. Three copies of Chimeramon. Chimeramon is really cool because you can DNA Digivolve uh, if you don't have greens. I don't know if you guys noticed, we're only playing 
for staying mana as a green champions. So having Chimera will let you DNA to evolve with two blues, which is super important. Um, when they're evolving, you attach a source for each color. Your opponent's Digimon get minus a thousand for each color this card is, including itself, which is white. And um, if you have four more colors, which you can do in this deck, this Digimon gains 4,000 DP. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's very important for a combo we'll talk about a little bit later. But you definitely want to make sure you have Magnemon under this Chimera Mon. Uh, and Chimera Mon will help you ensure that you usually have Magnemon underneath it. And then we are playing one Dino Beamon. Uh, Dino Beamon for the perma suspend when DNA is evolving is really kind of cool. Uh, and the 1000 DP boost for each of its colors also comes up sometimes, but not usually. It's, it's really there as kind of like an out to certain big boss monsters that might end your life. Dino B can be there to say no if you can't just kill your opponent with Imperial. Uh, eight, eight ultimates, nothing crazy here. I'm just going to go right to the spice. We're going to go just right right to the spice. Two copies of Magnamon X Antibody. It's the reason we're playing the Magnamons. It's the reason we're playing the Chimeramons. Um, in uh, BT8, this card didn't exist. I don't know why people play Magnamon in BT8. Now that we're not in BT8, um, and now we're in BT9 or later, Magnamon X is actually really good. Uh, at redirecting attacks so you don't take damage. You need to have Magnamon in the sources in order to uh, do the thing. Because it has armor form. Uh, also, you can just warp Digital Magnamon into this for four. Uh, and that's that's just really it. It's there to play control. Sometimes you can't OTK your opponent. But if you can't OTK your opponent, Magnamon X is going to ensure that um, they're not going to OTK you. And with Sunrise Buster being limited, that was one of this card's major issues. Uh, and now it's at 1, which is quite nice, if you ask my opinion. So Magnamon X being the perfect control option to tailor certain matchups in your favor, if you can't OTK and rush them, very important, and it's won me a lot of games. And then we're just doing the two copies of Imperial Dragon Mode from the starter deck. Uh, when you just evolve, just play a blue and a green source from it underneath, 4 lower. Good card. And obviously, we hit two co copies of Fire Mode. When you evolve it, return something 10,000 DP or less. Uh, and it can attack twice, basically. And suspend something. So, Fire Mode evolves for two on your Dragon Mode. It can end games. It, the card's incredible. And 13,000 DP is something you really shouldn't laugh at, either. Okay, that's it for the Digimon in the deck. Uh, a lot of Digimon. Uh, four Digimon in total, actually. Which is kind of neat that it worked out that way, I, I would say. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, pretty all right. Let's move on here to the uh, the stuff with the things. We are playing two copies of Davis Ken. Davis Ken being that dual tamer, uh, blue green gain of memory for a blue gain of memory for a green, and when you evolve into a dual color, you can unsuspend, and that's just really really good. Then we're playing two copies of Davis because it's a memory tamer. Go to three, add a blue and a green. You're probably going to add multiple, multiple cards off of the Davis. It is incredible, if you ask my opinion. Uh, that is all for Tamers. So the last six cards of the deck, which are two Mega Deaths, not four Mega Deaths, two Mega Deaths. And we play two Mega Deaths because it's a five-cost control option that bounces something and can suspend something. So it is really good in security. It's also good against things like the Shoutmons and other big boss monsters that are annoying. Two Hammer Sparks for the gain of memory to let you combo, and in security gain to memory is pretty good. And then we're also playing one HPD, one Ice Wall, because they're at one and these cards are broken. And that's it for Imperial. That's it. The deck is broken. The deck is really good. Imperial can just win. And if it can't win, you can just Magna X your opponent. Like, between this boss monster top end, it gives you control options and aggro options. It's very strong. Let me know what you think in the comments section below, and we're out of here. See you later.